Hi everyone! Today we're looking at Quick Math Junior from Shiny Things. It's currently free to download from the Apple App Store and helps children build number sense through six different mini games. Let's have a look! The first thing you need to do is create a username. Next, you'll see a map with three different locations on it. There are two play buttons and a factory at the bottom. Choose one of the play buttons and tap it to begin. After a moment or two, a game will pop up for you to play. This game is called Number Match Monsters. Count the monsters on the screen and match them to either the same number of dots or write the number or word at the bottom of the screen. This game helps build counting skills and number knowledge. This game is called Count and Add Bus. Match the number of monsters in the bus to the number on the traffic light. You can add them in singles or in pairs if you see two of them holding hands. This game is called Number Line Train. Fill in the missing seats with the correct numbers in the correct sequence. Nine. While you practice your numbers up to 100. Three. As you progress, you'll start to count in twos, threes, fives, Nine. and tens, and go forwards and backwards. When you successfully finish the game, you'll receive an award. Now you can go to the factory and customize your avatar. This game is called Spotlight on Subitizing. Subitizing means you can look at a small amount of objects and know how many there are without counting them. Look at the number of monsters on the screen and match it with the dots at the bottom. Or you may have to write the number. As you progress, you'll move on to conceptual subitizing. Here you need to break up the group of objects into smaller groups first. This game is called Place Value Boat Balance. Count the number of monsters and then balance the boat by putting the same amount of monsters on the empty side. You will learn about equal quantities and later how to use tens and ones to make two digit numbers. This game is called Number Memory Mansion. <laughs> Keep track of how many monsters are entering and leaving the house. You'll give your memory a workout and practice counting and subtracting as well. There is also a parent area that you can access by going back to the home screen and tapping the words report card on the top left. Follow the directions and you see a circle chart of your child's progress. You can even edit your child's profile by tapping the pencil icon on the top right. Here you can change your child's name, choose the handwriting style you want, and even delete the profile. The App Store suggests this app is good for kids 5 and under. I'd say it's better for kids 5 and up, but keep in mind that all kids are different, so you would really be the best judge of whether your child will enjoy this. Now to sum it all up, how does this app rate? For fun, I'm giving this a 4.5 out of 5. 
because it has several fun math-related activities. There are no achievements or high scores, but the app does keep track of your children's progress and presents them with activities that will challenge them enough to keep them interested. For learning, I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 because it helps children build number sense. They'll learn how numbers relate to each other, that numbers indicate quantity, and how to add and subtract numbers. For ease of use, I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. It's easy for children to access the game they want. However, the games that involve writing numbers assumes that the child already has some experience in writing. Young children who aren't yet familiar with writing may find this a little difficult and may need some help. All in all, this is a fun number app, and I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 for overall quality. Thanks for watching. Please give this review a like if you enjoyed it. And remember to subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page because we'll have more app reviews coming up.